I'm Julie Bartke with Session Update. Ending domestic violence, it's the impetus for legislation this session, and it's also the theme of a rally at the Capitol that drew hundreds. First of all, explain to me a little bit about what today is all about and how many years you've been doing this. Well, um, I'm with the Minnesota Coalition for Battered Women, and we've been coming to the Capitol for 35 years. And in more recent years, we've banded together with the other anti-violence coalitions, so the Sexual Assault Coalition, the Tribal Coalitions, Men Man, which is a statewide men's organization working on violence against women issues. And so we come with our member programs, come to the Capitol to sort of educate policymakers uh, about our issues, uh, to understand the depth and the impact that violence is having in our communities across the state. And so for a rally like this, what is the what is the impact to the people who come and participate in this? Well, for one, it's a way, we know that um, while we're here in St. Paul, we represent our member programs, that really it's our member programs across the state doing the work, and we want our legislators to have relationships with those programs, understand what the local impact is of the policies that are made at the statewide level. We also have a large youth program we run here, and so we have kids here today, and their focus is really on the Safe Schools Act, and so they're sort of, it's really great to see them talking with legislators um, and having this impact um, and having a voice. Speaking of legislation, there's a lot of legislation this particular session concerning tightening domestic violence laws, victim notification being one of those. Do you think there's enough being done? What else would you like to see? Well. We look at issues in a, a wide range, um, legislation being one of them. And so we look at and we work with a lot of uh, groups to see what kind of legislation might make sense for us to try and pass at this given time, uh, given the session. And we know this is a short session. Things are moving quickly. And so we took two bills that, had, that we thought were really ready to move for legislation. And so those bills do appear to be moving forward um, and will most likely be passed. We also then work on a whole variety of other issues. One of the things that is actually up uh, for consideration this evening is some additional funding. And one of the things they're looking at funding is prevention work. And this is really about uh, trying to get upstream on the issue and say, how do we as communities look at prevention, healthy relationship development work? Um, so that's one of the things that we're also very excited about. Finally, Liz, what do you want Minnesotans to know? How big of an issue is domestic violence, violence against women, violence in general? Is it still a big issue in Minnesota? It's a huge issue. We know that um, every year more than 62,000 women seek services in our domestic violence programs across the state. We also know that only represents between 20 and 30 percent of the people experiencing violence in their lives. So there's a huge issue out there. We also know last year 38 Minnesotans were killed in domestic violence related incidences. So it still continues to be a big problem and that's our message today is really is safety is a foundational issue that we need to think about safety not just in terms of what happens with law enforcement but we need to look at do we have safety for everyone in our community so kids can show up at school ready to learn do we have safety in our schools so kids feel like they can be in an environment and learn do we have safety in the workplace so people can be productive there so really we're trying to uh, really broaden who sees this is their issue and it should be everybody Liz Richards thanks so much for your time we appreciate it no problem thank Thank you. Remember, you can follow activity at the Capitol by following us at Senate.mn/media.